Whether you've been rampaging around town as a werewolf or adopting a more relaxed lifestyle, there are objects from the Werewolves game pack that you'll likely love. We're going to look at five of the best objects from the pack and of course, this is just my opinion, so if I miss an object that you yourself love, then definitely feel free to let me know in the comments down below. We're going to start with the Rockmeister Syzygy 7000 guitar. This is unlocked by reaching alpha rank of the Wild Fangs pack, but you can of course use the BB.Ignore Gameplay Unlock Sentitlement cheat to buy it whenever. As you would expect, you can play it, and like all guitars, when your guitar skill is level 8, you can use it to write songs, and then at level 9, license them for some ongoing royalties. Note that you can only license one guitar song a week. What's unique about this guitar is that it has an energized emotional aura which can be enabled, and also, as you've likely observed, it has a super unique look and a very cool design that resembles a werewolf's face. And it really is the only guitar in the game that screams rock or metal. I mean, maybe the Freezer Bunny guitar, but that's open to interpretation. Honestly, it's this design and how it can fit into storytelling around a rock musician that makes me love it. In case you were wondering, reaching alpha rank of the opposing Moonwood Collective pack will just give you a very cool looking clock which while pretty, doesn't quite do the same things to me that the guitar does. I mean really, we know which wolf pack drew the short straw here. Next up is the Boss Bus Bar. This isn't actually a bar, but it's an object that's set up to have a bar slide right in which can then be used. I love this so much as it can make a random outdoor bar really feel like it fits in, as oftentimes an outdoor bar just looks a bit random and weird. On top of this, it doesn't only have to be used with a bar. For example, you could use the space inside to make a little hangout area with seating and optional entertainment, or if you have the cool kitchen stuff pack, then you could even use it to frame a kind of custom ice cream parlor with counters and ice cream machines. I think it's just an awesome object that can be customized in a lot of ways, especially for community lots. My only negative is that every swatch has a slightly rundown look and a werewolf symbol on it, and I would love one or two swatches that had different or no symbols and a more pristine look. The third object is the Moonwood Mill Tunnel Entrance. Now around Moonwood Mill, there are three entrances to the Moonwood Mill Tunnels. One is the Portal Potties by the stream, the second is the Sewer Gate to the south, and the third is the Ground Level Bunker near the Eastern Bridge in the north. You can explore these tunnels for text-based journeys, which can provide various objects and collectibles and the night vision werewolf ability will help your werewolf to be more successful while exploring the tunnels. The Moonwood Mill Tunnel Entrance object essentially allows you to place another entrance that can be explored just like all of those naturally appearing in the world. What's even cooler is that by exploring the tunnels, you can uncover how the entrances are connected, allowing you to fast travel between them. Explore enough and you'll be able to fast travel from the tunnel entrance in your home to the various locations around Moonwood Mill. Also note that your werewolf or sim will automatically use these fast travel options too. A hot tip is that you can use the scavenge ability in Moonwood Mill to find werewolf books. By reading these, you can unlock the Lunar Epiphany ability. And then reading the Diary of Gregorius Lundvik, which can also be dug up with the scavenger ability, can see you discover some tunnel secrets that can help you find more objects, such as the Mooncaster's Wand that if you have the Realm of Magic game pack, you can gift it to a spellcaster to then use. A final thing to note about this object is that it works best when used in Moonwood Mill. If it's used from another world, then it will simply take you to the Grimtooth Bar and Bunker in Moonwood Mill, in which there's a tunnel entrance object located in the werewolves only basement. Moving on, and we're looking at the Lycan love seat now, which I'm clearly Lycan. While this really is just a love seat, it's the only love seat in the game that truly looks like it could be a part of a natural outdoor setting, which can make it an awesome inclusion for more foresty builds or anywhere that you want to add a seat outside without having it look like you just added a seat. You know, sometimes we want to live that rainforest life and still have a place to sit down. Now for the fifth and final object being the Moonwood Relic Display Shelf. And this object is specifically tailored to showcasing the Moonwood Relic Collection that can be found in Moonwood Mill. The 12 relics can be found by fishing in the world, exploring the underground tunnel network, 
or most easily by having a werewolf use the scavenge ability to dig in the world. Note that if you also pick up the enhanced smell ability, then using that to scout out an area with a strong scent before then digging there will mean that you are guaranteed to dig up either a Moonwood Relic or a Werewolf Book. Back on track. Why do I love, love, love this display case? Well, it allows each of the relics to click into place in a highly organized way, rather than having them all just looking like an absolute mess on other shelves. After your werewolf learns the Lunar Epiphany ability, they'll also be able to decipher these relics, allowing you to read lore. And I also found that it just arranges the relics in a way that feels a lot more organized to read. For example, the cow plant skull and jawbone relics have messages that link up and the display organizes them neatly together. In short, if you're collecting the relics, then this object is a must. Just before finishing up, I want to call out that this pack also brings with it woohoo bushes and bonfires. While these are great objects to use, woohoo bushes already come with the get together and jungle adventure packs, and bonfire objects are already available from get together and island living. And with that, we're at the end. That's five objects from the Werewolves game pack that you need to start using. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.